and class. In this video, we are going to continue the discussion on the formulae. Sukan Chao Tang Sukan Chao Tang comes from Sahan Zha Bin Lun. It is, it is a little bit strange that whenever I introduce a new formula, I always emphasize that this formula is very important, very famous, or very useful. The reason is because we use, uh, especially these examples that we have selected from Shanghai Zha Bin Lun. There are about 111, uh, 112 formulae from Shanghai, the first volume of Shanghai Zha Bin Lun. All of them are very important, and those are these formulae are very useful in our daily practice. So you can see Tang, the texts in Shanghai Zha Bin Lun, the author Zhang Zhongjin, he described that a patient suffer from palpitation, so the patient can feel the heartbeat by themselves, palpitation, and then from the pulse, the patient presents as irregular pulse. Then we're going to use Zhi Gan Chao Tang. Zhi Gan Chao Tang, the name of this formula, named after the dominant herb, Zhi Gan Chao. This is actually, actually Gan Chao, Zhi, the HI. This is the, the processing technique. We process Gan Chao with honey. After processing Gan Chao with honey, we call Zhi Gan Chao. So the Zhi Gan Chao Tang. Sheng Jiang, the ginger, Ren Sheng, the ginseng, Sheng Di, Wei Zhi, He Jiao, Mai Dong, Ma Ren, Da Zhao. Although you, you may not be familiar with uh, all these ingredients, you may refer to your textbook or even from Google. The patient presents as palpitation. But the genesis for this syndrome is due to the yang, yin and yang, the heart yin and yang deficiency, or in other words, the qi and blood deficiency in the heart. Zhi gan chao tang, zhi gan chao, a large dose of zhi gan chao. Shen jiang, ren sheng, the ginger, and ren sheng, sweet pang zheng, can, gen can generate yang. Gui zhi also can tonify yang. E jiao can nourish yin. Mai dong also can nourish yin. Huo ma ren, ma ren, the last two, the last two. Ma ren and sheng di, sheng di can generate yang. You also can use to it, it can be used to lose stool. So in this situation, in the practice, it's a very common that's the pay this kind of patient who suffer from the heart problem, we don't want them to be constipation. If the patient presents as constipation, they constipate and then when they go to toilets for the bowel movements, they're going to use the force. Once they could use the force to enhance the bowel pool, the bowel movements, sometimes the patient presents as heart attack. So in this formula, we use Ma Ren, which is for the constipation or to prevent constipation. So no matter this patient presents as constipation or not, we can use a small dose of Huomaren to lose the stool to make the bowel movements easier. The ad administration of this formula, we don't we use half of water and half of a rice wine. So for instance, if you use 400 ml of the, the liquid to decode this formula, 
you're going to use 200 ml of water, 200 ml of rice wine to cook them. And then after you cook the, the formula, you're going to filter out the, the liquid and you add the jiao to melt. So that's the administration of this formula. The rice one, the rice one itself is a kind of form, a herb, or we use the rice one as medicine. It can activate the circulation. So you can help the circulation of the heart. The main function of this formula to nourish yin and blood, to tonify the qi and yang. Yin and yang, both qi and blood, to restore pulse. So because of this function to restore the pulse or recover the, the heartbeat, another type, another name with the same formula, Zhi Gan Chao Tang, is also called Restoring Pulse Formula, Fu Mai Tang, Fu, F U, Mai. Fu means recover, Mai means the pulse, recover pulse decoction. This is another name in Jing Gui Yao Lue, the second volume of Sahan Zha Bin Lue, with the same ingredients. Harmonize. Which is pungent and warm, pungent and warm, pungent and sweet. Pungent and sweet can generate yang. That's why it can be used for yang deficiency. You can tonify yang, tonify yang, tonify yang qi in different organs. Yi huang, sheng di huang, bitter, sweet, and cold. And nourish the body fluid, so you can nourish the body fluid in the large intestine. Can lose a stool. Can nourish in. Can eliminate the heat. All of them can help to lose stools. A chow is made from the donkey skin, so we're going to cook the don donkey skin. And concentrate into uh, glue, glue form, the so animal products. This herbs is very useful to tonify blood, to stop bleeding, to tonify in. Tonify in is actually refers to tonify blood, but because blood is in. Stop bleeding, for for instance. A lady suffer from extra menstruation, extra bleeding in the period. Then we can use a gel to tonify, to stop the bleed, to stop bleeding. Mai Dong, Mai Dong can nourish the yin. It can nourish the lung, the summer, and the heart. Omaren, purgative. On, for constipation, so we can use for to, we can use to lose the stool. Main function you're going to use for qi and yin deficiency, qi and blood deficiency. Tonify qi, tonify blood, tonify yang, tonify yin and blood. As you can see here, the, the functions, the functions of this ingredient, why it can recover the heart function. When we study the, the functions of the heart, we emphasize the heart qi, the heart yin, and heart yang. The combination 
of 花的气，花的阴，花的阳，花的气 ，twenty five 的气，阳 ，with the in twenty five in and blood. So this formula can greatly tonify the heart function. Why? It is very commonly used for patient presents as palpitation, irregular pulse. So Quan Wan, so means reduce. Quan means spring. So begin to reduce the water in the spring. Pulse one appeal. What does it mean by so Quan? What does it mean by reduce? Reducing the spring. What's the spring in the body? Reducing the spring. This formula actually. Used in reducing urination, to stop urinesis. So the urination we think is similar to the spring, reducing the spring. There are only three ingredients in this formula: Wu Yao, San Yao, Yi Zi Ren. You turn it for the kidney. To tonify the spleen, Wu Yao to activate the qi circulation. Wang the kidney to expel the coldness, reduce the urination. So we can use for frequent urination or uncontrolled. San Yao, switch neutral, tonify qi and yin. Wu Yao, pungent and warm. Yi Zi Ren. Tonify the kidney. So kidney is very important in the urination. Something related, anything related to urination. San Yao can tonify the spleen. The spleen in charge of of the transportation and transformation of food and and water. So in this situation, we need to focus on the kidney and the spleen. Wang Zhao Ren Tang. In this formula, it is very commonly used in insomnia, especially the insomnia due to blood deficiency. The name of this formula is named after the dominant herb. There are five ingredients in this herb, in this formula. Because because of the blood deficiency, so the patient may present as other symptoms that's due to blood deficiency, such as dizziness, blurred vision, dry throat, dry mouth, red tongue, a wiry and red thready pulse. Chuan Zhao Ren, sweet and sour, tonify the heart and liver. Pangshong, pangjun, and wang. You can activate the qi and blood, so you can regulate the qi and blood circulation. Zhi mu, bitter and cold. It can eliminate the heat and can nourish the yin. So this one is very important because it can eliminate the heat and yin. So we can use in patients suffer from insomnia. Due to blood deficiency, also we can use for patient present as insomnia due to heat deficiency heat. In this situation, the patient may present as red tongue, slightly yellow coating. The patient also may present as dreamful sleeping, nausea. Eliminate the heat. Fu Ling and tonify the spleen. Because this syndrome is due to blood deficiency, so we begin to tonify the spleen with the acquired qi comes from. 
we need to recover the spin's function to harmonize the whole formula. In the second volume of the Anhan Zabin Lun, it describes that we need to focus on prevention. If a patient presents as liver problem, we need to think about the spleen because the liver problem may affect the spleen. So we need to do something to prevent the disease goes to the liver, go to the spleen. But how to do so? The author Zhang Zhongjin provides us a, a principle. He says the sour, the sour taste. Sour can go to the liver, the bitter can go to the heart. In this situation, we can use the sweet to tonify the spleen. This is uh, one of the most important principles in treating the liver tonify the spleen. As you can see here, Sun Zhao Ren Tang is one of the most important representative of this principle. Sour, bitter, and sweet. The sour can go to the liver. Bitter can go to the heart. Sweet can help the spleen. This formula it is very commonly used in insomnia due to the blood deficiency. But where does the blood come from? For blood deficiency, which organs does we need to focus on? Firstly, the liver stores the blood. So we need to focus on the liver. The liver stores the blood. The heart. The heart transforms the qi into red color. The red color qi we call the blood. Also, this patient presents as insomnia. The insomnia is something related to the heart di directly. So we, we can focus on the heart. The bitter also can clear the heat and calm down the heart, the heart spirit. So we can use something bitter to go to the heart. Sweet, the liver problem will affect the spleen. We need to do something to prevent. So Fu Ling and Gan Chao, both of them are sweet. It can help to tonify the spleen. It can help to prevent the disease develop from liver to the spleen. So although there are only five ingredients, the principle is very strict sour, bitter, and sweet. So if you understand this principle, in our treatments, in acupuncture treatments in future, when you see a patient suffer from insomnia, if you want to use acupuncture, you can't find sour taste in the acupoints, but what we can do, we can find some points on the liver meridian, sour, the liver meridian, for example, the Yuan source points of the liver, the Fran Mu points of the liver. You can find something in the heart meridian, such as the Yuan source point of the heart. You can find something in the spleen meridian. Sweet. Or the stomach meridian. Stomach 36, spleen 6, spleen 9. So these are something you can think about, you can apply in the practice according to your need, according to the patient. Because we didn't study enough material, material medica, so it becomes very difficult for us to discuss the formulae. Here we just give you a brief introduction of the these three formulae, An Gong Niu Huang Wan. An Gong Niu Huang Wan, Zhi Xue Zhi Bao Dan, and another one, Su He Xiang Wan. These four formulae are very commonly used in stroke.
patient suffer from stroke, even in the acute stage, we can use, we can select from these four. The differences among these four is the, the first three are more focusing on, on the heat, stroke due to, due to heat. Su Ho Xiang Wan is due to stroke due to cold or due to Yang depleted. Wu Yang Huan Wu Tang from the name Wu means tonify Yang Yang Qi Huan return Wu five. So from the name it says to tonify Yang Qi return five. Huh? What does it mean by Huan Wu return five or return half? So in the literature we we believe with with thoughts, because if we have in our body, if we have ten portion, the yang qi of the body, we consider as ten portion. This formula can recover five portion. So that's why huan wu recover half. This formula is very useful, also very useful for stroke due to yang deficiency, due to yang depleted. So when you use this formula. The patient must present as a pale due to yang deficiency, cold extremities, pale tongue, pale complex facial complexion. Wang qi, you can use a high dose, 120 even to 200 gram in each dose. This formula is very effective in acute stroke, especially for the hemiplegia. You can tonify the qi and activate the blood and block cholesterol. Si Xiao San The title means Bursty into love or into laughing. So in this situation, it describes that a patient, due, a patient is suffering due to the pain after taking this medicine. The pain relief, and then the patient burst into love, into laughing. So that's how effective this formula from the title. There are only two ingredients in this formula, Wu Lin Zi and Pu Huang. The main function of this formula is to activate the blood circulation to stop pain. So now, if you understand the activating blood circulation, you will know that this kind of pain is due to blood, state, blood stasis. The patient must present as something purple or bluish. Purple tongue, purple lips, irregular menstruation, a lot of clots in the in the period. Wo xiang zheng qi san, is very commonly used for summer heat. Patients suffer from summer heat or sunstroke. Coma, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, especially in summer or late summer, especially when we the either from the climate or from the location, there's a lot of dense heat. So you can use Huo Xiang Zheng Qi San. The main function of Huo Xiang Zheng Qi San to clear the damp heat. Leasing activity and resolving the dampness. San Ren Tang. San Ren Tang is another formula to clear the dampness. Promote the qi 
circulation and used for damp sheet. When you see a, damp, a patient presents a damp sheet, you, you must understand that this disease will recover in one or two days. And this patient from the town, San Ren Tang, the patient may present as a thick white coating or thick yellow coating with dampness and heat. It must be thick coating due to or greasy coating or watery coating. Thick greasy or thick watery coating with dampness. The main function of Wu Lin San is to recover the or to warm the blood. So this patient presents as problems related to the blood. This formula can recover the yang qi of the blood. And then once the yang qi of the blood recovered, the function of the blood which should control the, the urine can be can be recovered. The function. So you can use for any diseases due to yang deficiency is related to the blood, blood yang also can be used for edema due to yang deficiency. Ling Gui Zhu Gan Tang Fu Ling Gui Zhi Bai Zhu Gan Tang All ingredients we have already discussed in the previous slides. 25 spleen to harmonize the formula. So this formula is also very useful for phlegm and fluid, dampness, fluid, because we focus on the spleen. To drain the dampness, to eliminate the dampness, Fu Lin can in induce diuresis to induce urination. Because the spleen dislikes that the dampness, the so fooding can reduce the dampness in the body, recover the, recover the spleen function. Bai Zhu. Bai Zhu can recover the spleen function to induce diuresis. So this is from two different aspects to recover the spleen function. Gui Zhi can tonify Yang. Once you got the yang qi in the body, the dampness will be less. This is very similar when the sun comes in the nature. The, the humid, the humid climate or the humid weather will be less because of yang qi. The gui zi can reduce the dampness in the body. Zen wu tang can warm the kidney yang can induce diuresis. So this zheng wu tang also very commonly used in edema, in dizziness, in headache due to yang deficiency. Yang deficiency with water retention. This is our last discussion in the general introduction to the formulae because we don't have we, we, we because we didn't study a lot of material medica, it makes it quite difficult for us to study the formulae. However, we going to use these a few formulae as an example to see how to structure the ingredients when we see a patient when we conclude to a specific syndrome, what aspects we can think about. Although we introduce the material medical in the formulae, in the same way we can use acupoints. For example, the, we, we use the example as Xuan Zhao Ren Tang. We talk about the sweet, the bitter, and uh, the sour. In this situation, if you knew the if you know the principles, you can use this principle in your acupuncture treatment. So you can apply these principles 
to formulate your acupuncture points. I have to say that Chinese herbal medicine works in a much bigger categories, a much bigger range of diseases. So if you are interested in you're more than welcome to further study to refer to the textbooks or to other resources. To follow your study and then for our program we will focus on the principles of the material medica, the principles of the formulae. However, we don't have the chance to discuss in detail. So you are encouraged to study more on the formulae. Thank you for your attention.